What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about GameStop stocks. You know that there's been a massive move this company has been making for the past few days. We're going to be talking about exactly why this company is going up. What could potentially be happening pretty soon. I'm going to go over some companies that can potentially be going up due to their short squeeze. So in this video I'm going to cover all this important information so stick around until the end. Before we get into it though, do me a favor and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever we upload a new video. And with that, let's get started. The GameStop short squeeze that lit up the stock market news in January might be winding down, but the short sellers just can't escape the pain. Now, GME has added salt to their wounds by completing a $1 billion capital raise. Could the short sellers actually turn into GameStop's secret weapon? GameStop, GME, $40.59 stock has plummeted almost 90% from its January trading frenzy high in the upper $400, so has its high short interest. But that hasn't stopped Reddit day traders from looking for their next short squeeze score. The latest chapter in the GameStop saga entails a congressional committee investigating how shares in a struggling brick and mortar video game retailer could quintuple and crash in a matter of days, throwing sand into the gears of Robinhood and other online brokers. Perhaps investors could argue that Michael Burry of The Big Short fame helped lay the foundations for the bullish stance on GameStop. But we all know that it's not really the case, because he expressed this bullish stance some time ago, way before the ongoing retail frenzy. The truth is, the spike we saw in GME's stock recently was purely due to what appears to be a group of retail investors on Reddit taking on Wall Street. As a result, short seller Melvin Capital had to secure additional funding. If you thought 2020 was an unprecedented year in the financial markets, well, you haven't seen 2021 yet. How Redditors Find the Next GameStop Stock On the surface, Wall Street bets looks like a casino, but an analysis of the stocks that we take off reveals some common factors that drive the winners. There is a method to the madness of Wall Street bets. For every stock that soars like GameStop Corp and AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc, many more names touted on the Reddit site will fail to launch. A Wall Street Journal analysis of millions of posts on Wall Street bets, the performance of the most mentioned companies each month and interviews with traders show what makes a stock take off. Stocks with the highest chance of success tend to have low share prices, typically under $25 a share, and be lightly traded. Low prices allow small-time traders to more easily accumulate stakes and can sometimes signify cheap valuations. Share prices of lightly traded stocks can more easily be pushed higher or lower than shares of stocks that are more frequently traded. Big companies with high stock prices and volume like the third most mentioned company last year, Apple Inc, tend to not be swayed by what happens on a message board, according to Hudson Cashden, co-founder of TopStocks.com a website that trades equities mentioned on Reddit. The success stories often share common traits with stocks selected by pros. The companies appear to be undervalued by some measures and have near-term catalysts to improve their business or at least generate excitement. The 21 Best Stocks to Buy for 2021 Right now, the bulls are winning. People are squeezing their short sellers and they are making a lot of money and we are going to see what could potentially happen within the next few days. So let's talk about companies that are actually behaving similar to GameStop. I'm not saying that they're going to be up from like $10 all the way to $74 or $250, but they have the potential to perform or to be squeezing the short dollars to the upside. Where the story goes is anyone's guess, but don't be surprised if the pearl clutching on Capitol Hill and Attendance media attention only heighten interest in stocks with high short interest. Ever since the brothers of Wall Street Bets WSB, began a campaign to crush hedge funds shorting GME by setting off a short squeeze while making hefty paper profits to boot, every short stock with high short interest has become chum. With more than 41% of its shares outstanding sold short, International Flavors and Fragrances IFF, $139.50, is currently the number one high short interest stock on a major US exchange. Before anyone gets any ideas, it's sort of hard to imagine the maker of artificial colors, flavors, and smells sparking the imagination of the heroic WSB group. Besides, 
as an S&P 500 stock with a market value of $35 billion, even a highly coordinated and motivated mob of online buyers might find it hard to move IFF's price. Other day trader favors such as BlackBerry BB $10.90, iRobot IRBT $125.70, and Vaxart VXRT $7.46 have already spiked and crash, and thus appear spent as short squeeze candidates. Below are the 25 stocks with the highest short interest or percentage of shares outstanding sold short. On the major exchanges, according to the latest data available from YCharts, it's yet another sign of a market that appears to have become frothy. Whether the investors have gone too far is another question. Last week, Goldman Sachs analysis were asked whether the stock market was in trouble. Their answer was that valuations are extremely elevated, but they also assured investors that the exuberance of some stocks did not contribute as risk to broader indexes. Whether other meme stocks can replicate what is happening with GameStop remains to be seen. Regardless, for social media investors, the revolution is here, it's overdue, and they have other stocks in their sights. AMC All three major US indexes were down on Tuesday. Not so for the movie theater chain, which saw shares rise 12% to $4.96 during yesterday's trading, and it was already up more than 300% by the start of Wednesday's trading. On Monday, the movie theater chain, most of which whose outlets have shut down, disclosed that it had secured enough financing, about $917 million, to remain operational this year. The company says it's turned a corner and is no longer concerned about immediate bankruptcy. Even after many films on the 2020 to 2021 slate have moved to online streaming services, Reddit has also been debating whether the stock is the next GME. BlackBerry The stock closed at $18.92 on Tuesday, up 4.9% for the day, and logged another 6.7% surge after trading hours. Shares in BlackBerry, the one time smartphone colossus, and now a software outfit, have leveled out a 28% surge on Monday. The stock has been downgraded by RBC Capital Markets Analysis for underperformance, but the company, another Reddit favorite according to Bloomberg, also benefited after disclosing an expanded deal with Baidu, in which the latter would use BlackBerry's operating system in its autonomous cars. Express The apparel retailer plunged 27% to $3 per share during Tuesday trading, only to make up all its losses in after-hours trading. It's also up 234% from the beginning of the year, when shares were selling for less than $1. On Monday alone, it soared 132% after Redditors plunged the company, hoping it will pan out as the next GameStop. Nokia, the Finnish consumer electronics and software company dipped 2.4% in Tuesday trading, also regaining losses after hours. Redditors have been driving attention to the business, according to Bloomberg. On Tuesday, the firm announced that it's ready for a 5G build-out in the US positioning it as a leader in the Internet of Things revolution. Palantir The software company dipped 2.3% during Tuesday trading, and another 3.4% afterwards as Palantir prepared for its demo day, a Wall Street Bet subreddit favorite according to Investor Place. It has dealt with its fair share of volatility up to 21% during Monday trading. The 21 Best ETFs to Buy for a Prosperous 2021 be forewarned that this list is for informational purposes only. Going long on a stock with high short interest simply to get rich off of panic buying for short sellers is exceedingly dangerous, just like shorting stocks with high short interest. When it comes to playing around with high short interest stocks, the risks greatly outweigh the rewards. Members of the subreddit rejoiced Tuesday after GameStop shares surged another 92% during trading to a record $148 per share. The foundering video game retailer is now valued at more than $10 billion, despite losing $1.6 billion over almost three years. But organizers are intent on holding their investments, hoping to bleed short sellers who would have to double down on their shares to curtail losses. One hedge fund has already required bailing out of its position. What happened to the stock market today? So a lot of things that have happened were relatively flat. You know we have big companies that are going to be reporting earnings. We've got Apple, Tesla, Microsoft. They are having a pre-earning rally, especially for Tesla. They are rallying to the upside, so we'll see. The next few days are going to be massive days, so we'll see what's going to happen to these companies. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for a notification on our future content. With that being said, see you in the next one.